The goal of cash flow engineering is to structure your firm in a manner so that even if you have the exact same sales as another firm, you have more cash at any point in time. So if someone's doing 500,000 a year and you're doing 500,000 a year, exactly the same in sales, how can we make sure that you have more cash on hand at any point in time? So what we're going to talk about in this cash flow engineering section are things that don't affect actual sales or profits, right? So it's not going to change what your sales are, right? It's not going to change what your profit margins are, or what your actual profit is, but it's going to change the timing of when you receive and pay out cash. So we'll, let's look at an example. So scenario one, right? This is uh, most firms, okay? Invoices after the work is done. So most people get a client, they do work for the client, and then they send them an invoice at the end of the period, end of the, end of the engagement, end of the month, and then they collect cash. But when they start the engagement, they are paying for their expenses in cash immediately, right? So they're paying for their expenses today in cash, but they're not collecting cash until the end of the engagement. So you can see here on day one, expenses hit your cash balance. And so because of that, your cash dips as expenses are paid before sales come in. Okay, so watch, you see how that, that, that cash balance is bowing downward. Okay, bowing downward. Imagine you started with, let's say, $50,000 in your account. And uh, you, know, you, you are going to get invoiced in 30 days. Um, but you have expenses you have to pay right now. And then your cash sales come in on day 30 and or somewhere between day 30 and day 55 because sometimes people don't pay immediately and you know your balances come back up to a more normal amount right so that typically is what happens and after 30 days or so your expenses and your cash have met but that entire time while you waited you really had less cash than you should because you were earning that revenue all along that time period but you weren't collecting any of it in cash